are you gonna do now? You're gonna make my controller vibrate again? I'm putting it on my dick! I'm putting it on my dick, Psycho Mantis! Alright guys, welcome back to part 7 of Metal Gear Solid 4 in the last episode. Um, we went back to Shadow Moses Island. Uh, Liquid ended up taking the railgun from Rex and he put it on like this big ass ship. It, it almost looks like ar Arsenal gear. Uh, it's like a submarine. They, they, he messed up Snake. He, I think Raiden is dead. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we got rescued by our homies and now we have to find a way to get back to, uh, get back on Liquid submarine and destroy the railgun before he launches the nuke. So let's just jump into it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're back on the plane and we have to do, or we're back on our ship. Haven is headed southward through the Pacific at a speed of 33 knots. The Missouri's falling behind at a rate of about two nautical miles every hour. Liquid's target is JD, a US military satellite disguised as orbital debris. You could extend it, can't you? Yeah, there you go. Haven will have to surface in order to use the railgun. If we can figure out JD's orbit. Oh the way, yeah, homegirl. There you go. There. We should be able to predict where Haven's gonna surface. So its next perigee should be in uh, oh. oh my god, man. Fifteen hours, six minutes, and twelve seconds. Right. In fifteen hours, it's going to be over the bearing sea. 494 nautical miles from the Bering Strait. Okay, so we need to stop him before he shoots that, before he shoots JD down. In that area. Why are we looking at her ass? That close to launch? From the looks of it, Haven is going to use a railgun mounted on the bridge to destroy JD. Yeah, it's going to use Rex's. Need to open the cover to launch the nuke. That's our one and only chance to get inside. Inside? Why can't we attack it from here? We don't have dick. It wouldn't do any good. As long as Liquid has control of the system, physically destroying GW would still leave supreme authority in his hands. Mm. Sons of the Patriots. Yeah, the SOP system. Yes, Dr. Emmerich is right. That's why we need to destroy GW from the inside before attacking Haven itself. Hmm. Liquid's very own Death Star. I never would have thought they referenced Star Wars. All right, everybody, here's the plan. We know Haven will have to surface in order to fire the railgun. When it does, the Missouri will see it. We'll make a quick approach and deliver a strike team. And we gotta blow it up from the inside. Our goal is twofold. Prevent that nuke from launching and wipe out GW's program. Yeah, we have to do so much. The enemy relies entirely on electronic means of threat detection. So they won't be able to see the Missouri until they surface. Whoa! Uh. <laughs> Fuck's going on, bro? You're about to stick fingers in there. At the exact moment Haven's armored cover opens. They'll then penetrate GW's physical server room and infect it with a worm cluster. Got it. Okay. Naomi helped with the preparations to stop Haven's launch. Mm. Naomi. All of our internal data on Haven came from her. Got it. The reason she got on the Nomad with us in the first place... Oh, is to give us that information? ...was to get close to me. Yeah. I mean, we knew that. But she ended up turning to Sunny instead. What do you mean? She left her plan in Sunny's hands. Mm, that's what, what was in the USB. The entire USB. operation is based on the data she left us. <coughs> but that still doesn't make sense. Oh, that's to she Yeah! Like... <coughs> it still doesn't make sense as to why she... We'll never know exactly ...crossed us she and told Liquid to where we were. But one thing's for sure. She was determined to stop Liquid. <laughs> No, Otacon. Oh my god, bro. I, I want Otacon to have a happy ending, bro. He's the only one that deserves it, to be honest. 
Naomi was working on a program to destroy GW, but she couldn't quite finish it. Mm, okay. So she handed it over to Sonny. Sonny went fishing in my library to see if there was any source code she could use to complete it. Uh huh. Eventually, she found some. Really? It was Emma's worm cluster. Oh. No, bro. Rest in peace, Emma. We took care of Vamp for her, bro. I still think we should have cut Vamp's head off. <coughs> Thanks for lighting my shit. Uh, uh, she took my sister's code and worked it into Naomi's program. I can't believe it. She showed up in his time glasses. To look over every single line of code. But what I did see uh -huh. reminded me of Emma. Let's go. It was like she left traces of herself behind in the structure. Oh. But this worm cluster that Sunny created, it's even better than Emma's. Oh shit, really? Damn bro, Sunny's kind of built if Sunny's worm destroys the AI's intellect by triggering apoptosis in the cells. Ap apoptosis, bitch? What that is? GW, it should do some real damage. Hey, act five, boys. Old son. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, shit. It seems like the plan is in fucking motion. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Alright, the strike team is getting ready. Damn. It's the crew. Oh, what a, what a unsightly crew, bro. Uh, Snake and Meryl and then the two goobers. It's Hakan and, and Johnny. Raiden, how is he? He's still alive? But he's in no shape to fight. Gotcha. Best to let him rest. Yeah, right. I figured. Well, at least he's alive. The only people I have left to rely on are Marilyn. Him. Oi. Kind of an unknown quantity, isn't he? He's weird, bro. Huh? Drebin, what to do, gang? Fancy meeting you here. How the fuck did you get Are on you board? I laundered these guys' ideas, then issued them new naked weapons. Hmm. Including that catapult you're gonna be riding. Okay. What the fuck is that? Oi! What? Why are... What? Why are both of y'all posing like this? We gonna trade? I can't believe it. Looks like that hey. last smoke will have to wait after all. Later. Hey, Dre Drevin. Thanks for everything, bro. Yep. Got it. You've low-key been a big help, so... Hey. Here. Huh? Oh. Oh, no way, Snake. We ain't gonna take a sale. <laughs> Damn. Puffing on that shit, bro. So this really is it, boys. You know, this is final attempt at everything. Mankind, this is our last chance to stop Liquid from enslaving the planet. Yeah, this is literally it. I don't think there's anything... Anything after this. Or there's no other chances after this. Meryl, can you hear me? Oi. It's time. Time to do your duty. Remember... No matter what happens, I'll be with you till the very end. Damn. You are my pride and joy. Oh my god. This is actually kind of sad, bro. Yeah, because it could, could, it could all go to shit here. This is our last chance. Failure will spell doom for the human race. Yep. You've got to stop them from using that railgun. Then annihilate GW. No! Oh, we gotta go! I can't believe it. Oh, I 
see what didn't make it. Damn! She at least made it on. Akiba didn't make it on. He, did he land in the river? Or in the fucking ocean? Ah! Oh my god! Are we good? Everything intact? Jesus Christ, I think I landed on my keys, Otacon. Hey, we at least made it on board. We just gotta hope Meryl holds her own, you know? Oh, bro, I hear the, the Metal Gears. Who's calling me? It's probably Otacon or Meryl? Snake. What's up? Where are you? Sorry. It's my ankle. Oh, she Can fucked up her walk? ankle. Uh, I think so. Ah. Are you okay? Oh, hurts a hell of a lot more without SOP. Uh, oh, yeah. He's still alive, doesn't it? What about Akiba? He fell into the ocean. That's actually hilarious. Snake. <laughs> I'll catch up soon. You go ahead. Okay. Just be careful, homegirl. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Well, that was quick. It's out of con, it's out of con, it's out of con. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh! Oh, they're already starting to shoot at me. It's the frogs. Oh, the textures are bugging out a little bit. Oh, yeah, the textures are definitely bugging out a little bit here. Uh, Otacon again or Meryl? Snake, can you hear me? What's up, Melee? Hurry! Towards the ship's stern. Got it. Okay, that's where we need to start heading. Okay, alrighty. Are they gonna see me on sight? Or is it like Good job, uh Snake? You made it on board. Welcome to Haven. Enemy okay. units are already on their way. Break through their defenses and find GW's server room. It's probably still around here. Bitch. Frank. Boy, Frank. All right, fuck it. Snake, use that watertight door to get in. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. She ran away. She got scared, I guess. Come on. Oh, get me inside, bro. Jesus Christ. That was kind of a pain in the dick. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Russian. Crystal. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're going up. Okay. So now that we're in here, what's the game plan? Oh, fuck. That was a fuck ton of frogs waiting for me. We didn't hear him jump. I guess not. Meryl. Oh, shit, it's Meryl. You good, homegirl? I heard, I know your ankle was fucked up, but what's the word? You, it looks like you fine. Oh, here we go. Oi! They're all flipping and dipping and posing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So I just gotta hold out. Okay. I just had to hold out, bro. Oh my god, I'm, I'm running low on rations too. Is she okay? Meryl. Snake. Yeah, I think she's good. Yeah, you look fine. What's going on? What's that noise? 
Oh, she's being puppeted. Not again! She's being puppeted! It's the mantis chick. Snake. Run! Oh! <laughs> I know your wavelength. It brings back memories. Yes, Phantom Home Girl. Or Phantom? Not Phantom. Mantis. Oi! Not again, bro. I know what to do. We just need to knock her bitch ass out. Who did that? Who the fuck are you? Is Akiba? It is Akiba, okay. Johnny! Or Johnny, my fault. Meryl! Be careful, bro. She still might have. Oh. Wait, Akiba! No! Oh my god, Akiba's dead as shit. It's this bitch. It has been a long time, Snake. Do we know each other? Screaming mantis. Oh, you got little goobers. Psycho mantis. Yeah. Oh, that was another me. Okay. Can you hear the screams? You sound very similar. <laughs> they cry for battle. Let me hear you scream. Howl. Roar. From the very Oh my god! What are they? Oh, he's puppeting them. Okay. She shot the little dude. And the little dude. What's this? Oi! It doesn't work on him for some reason. He doesn't have the nanites. Oh my god. Yep, he's just gonna control these fucking things. Oh lord. Okay. Alright, we run. I, I shot the doll. Oh, uh, okay. She can't control her victim. Ready with our release goes to throw in a strong attack. Shake the controller while holding the L1 to manipulate the target. Nah, my miss. I uh, oh, this is not going to work. But oh, fuck it. This like we're taking this bitch out and then I just got to hold it. There we go. We did both, so I don't know. I just had to shoot the dolls. I was running around and just shooting the dolls, taking pot shots when I could. Oi. Oh, bro, she was kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. He's throwing knives around and shit. Oi. Oh my. That was kind of close to my head. Oh my. And thanks for thanking. Weird. This is a weird position that we're in. Yeah. You're like pulsating. What's going on? Why did it howl like a wolf? Yeah, her shit's twerking. Oi, 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 oi! <sighs> what? 
what is going on, bro. Okay, is she gonna do the same trick as the other ones? Oh no, she she jumped at me. Oh my gosh, she Kevin Gates at me. Oi! Okay. Yeah, just keep backing up, Snake. I don't trust this bitch. Facilitate that. My head hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have mercy. <laughs> Let me out of here. Oh, she's bugging, bro. I can't breathe. Is she just out? Oh. We don't gotta worry about it. Here she comes. No. Okay, yeah. Get out of my body. Oi. Forgive me. Oh, what's going on? She getting a little freaky with it. Oh, bro, they. Set me free! They added mad titty physics. I'm running away. Hey, boys, from what I learned, these work. So. Frank! The typical curl up into a ball. Yup, yup, yup. Jesus Christ, bro. What the fuck is going on? Is Drebin gonna call me? Oi! Why is everything moving? What the fuck? Psychomantis! I can't believe it. Welcome back, bro. You don't seem to believe your own eyes. Very well. I will show you the power of the world's greatest mind reader and psychokinesis. How come you're back? I start by reading your personality. You're not gonna be able to read shit, Psychomantis. This is an emulator. It's true. What? Where is your data? Where is it saved? I don't got nothing, bro. Memory card. Yeah, I'm a little crazy. Your skills have improved. Or rather, your hardware. I can't believe this. this. What are you gonna do Witness now? My you gonna make my controller vibrate again? I'm putting it on my dick! Put it down as flat as you can. I'm putting it on my dick, Psycho Mantis! That's good. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. I can't believe what we're doing this again. Oh, it's vibrating. I don't know if y'all hear it. Making the controller vibrate. It's definitely moving. I can't believe it. Oi! What's happening? He's short circuiting. Okay, that was weird. 
Was it supposed to just be a cameo? A little, a little guest appearance? <laughs> the spirit of the warrior will always be with you. Oh, this was... Uh, that was... That was the boss's husband. That was the sorrow. What's up, Barakan? Oh, it's uh, Drevin. I'll, I'll read these because the audio always messes up. Sounds like something the devil's cooked up, if you ask me. Mantis came from South America. She was born and raised in a country wracked by never-ending civil wars. Her village was attacked by enemy forces and burned to the ground. This was when she was still a little girl. Hunted by enemy death squads, she was separated from her family. She barely managed to escape with her life, ended up in the basement of this one building. It was full of corpses that had been dumped there. Almost all of them had been tortured to death. She was petrified with fear. And then she heard the sound of heavy boots on the floor above her, followed by shrieking screams, the kind that would make every hair on your body stand up. She had stumbled across a makeshift torture chamber. Somebody had locked a door and she was trapped. It was dark, it was dank, and it was full of a wretched stench. She couldn't sleep with the screams of torture victims all around her. All she could do was sit curled up in one corner of the room, trembling. A week passed, then ten days. She managed to keep hydrated by drinking the filthy water pulled up on the floor, but there was no food. Being trapped in that kind of place, half crazy from hunger, did a serious number on her mind. Do you know female mantises eat their mates? Their, the screams went on day and night. She covered her ears, but it didn't help. And then she was saved by a little black mantis that taught her how to block out the screams, how to plug her inner ears. What the hell are you talking about? I'm saying, Snake, that when she couldn't stand the hunger any longer, she started feeding on the corpses, but only the male ones. She didn't, reali she didn't realize who was doing it. In her mind, it was a female mantis devouring her mates. It was like one big twisted waking dream. There was no mantis, of course. It was all a hallucination. Nothing more than some story spun by another person she created inside. Her unstable mind was what made her so vulnerable. Later, they ripped out what was left of her psyche with drugs and hypnosis and implanted the persona of Psychomantis. It wasn't her will that controlled the BBs. It was Psychomantis, half assimilated into her soul, pulling the strings. Screaming Mantis was just another puppet. Anyway, she survived several weeks down in that hellhole and finally got back to the surface. But the screams in her head didn't subside. They would always be with her, only this time they weren't real. The inner earplugs didn't work anymore. The black mantis had disappeared. There was no place left to escape, which is why she was always screaming to drown out the ones in her own head. But it's over now. You freed mantis from that dark nightmare. The last of the beasts. You got it, pal. Well done. Well, I'm done playing storyteller for a, for a while. Now get going. GW is waiting. And this time, you get to make up the ending. Okay. So... Now we just keep moving forward. Is Meryl good? What about Akiba? Yeah. Meryl. Snake. What's up, homegirl? How you Where's feeling? Where's Johnny? Uh, do you got... I don't know. Where is Johnny? Oh, there's more frogs. Go on without me. This time, I'll protect you. Go. All right, homegirl. While there's still time, while I'm still alive. But where's where Johnny go? Snake, the corridor ahead is full of microwaves. Yeah, I know. Remember, I remember May Link told us. No way I'm getting through there. I'm cooked. I, I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Now, are we just gonna run through it? Your back. <laughs> no. Oh. Meet again on the other side. Yeah. Go. Hurry. All right, Meryl. Be safe, oh. homegirl. Go. She's just gonna hold out here on this door. She needs some help! Like... Bang, bang! She's only got three, uh, three mags. Jesus. Okay, all right, boys. I hate to do this to y'all, but I think I have to end it here. We have been going for a bit. This is like the first cliffhanger that we've done, you know? <laughs> um. I'm sorry guys, but that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next part, which will more than likely be the finale. Bye guys.